Hey guys, James Gain. So to continue on from where I left off after the configuration setup of Buzzsaw, uh, we're going to start talking about um, the use of it and how we might want to leverage Buzzsaw from Vault and vice versa. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to send some of these files into Buzzsaw uh, because maybe at this stage I want an external contractor to edit them or make changes to them or whatever it is. Now, uh, let's select on any old drawing, it doesn't really matter which one. So I'm going to select on just some 2D drawing, that one will do. And share to Buzzsaw. So that's actually going to share that selected file. Now if I wanted to share the entire folder, I could select on it there and share to Buzzsaw, or I could select on the top level and share to Buzzsaw. Um, I can't go any higher than this because that's where my mapping starts from that project sync settings. So if I wanted to map something outside, I'd need to change those project sync settings to sync a higher level folder. Um, okay, so let's say we want to go and uh, add or share that one to Buzzsaw. And as soon as we click share to Buzzsaw, that's going to create that job in my job queue as I showed you last time. And you're also going to make sure your job processor is running. Now, in this case, I always have mine turned off because I don't really use it that much, but you guys will have it on all the time so you won't ever have to go in here and do this but it's a good little reminder so let's turn my job processor on and uh, and that's running that job now so that's great and let's close that job queue down let's just uh, monitor that job and make sure it's still uh, well it'll always still be running uh, jumping into buzzsaw let's say I wanted to log into the buzzsaw account now so I want to go into my buzzsaw account and log in and maybe behind, by the time I'm logged in, this will be uploaded. All right, and you'll see GHD folder, not quite there yet. Um, so it'll just take another second or two. And, uh, and then that'll be uploaded into Buzzsaw. There it is. And, uh, and you can see I've already selected on the GHD folder and there's nothing in there. You just need to click refresh and, uh, and there's your GHD folders built for you. And now you've got access to the file. So the first thing you might want to do is, well, in this case, uh, if you do want to do a markup on that or whatever it is, you can go over to the markup section. You've got versions on this file as well. So the more times you add it to Buzzsaw, the more versions it'll build up. So if you've got a new version of the document, you add it to Buzzsaw, it'll version 2, it won't duplicate the file in Buzzsaw, which is nice. If you want to view the file, you can look through here, and this will uh, this will basically fire up TrueView inside of Buzzsaw. Um, give me a second here. It just makes sure it doesn't have any XRFs and all that sort of business as well, which is kind of nice. Make sure you've got uh, TrueView open first. Same thing goes with both of uh, the markups and view. It's actually um, firing up an application in the background, and that's what's actually running the view. And there it is. So there's a view of the uh, the document. This is view via TrueView. Um, you can have a discussion about the document. Uh, if you wanted to add a comment in there, just right click. You can go into versions and view any previous versions of this document. And as you can see, there's only one. Um, but And then you've got markups as well. Um, so it'll actually tell you there's no DWF of this document. And you can publish one if you like. And if you say yes, then it'll go ahead and publish a DWF. Uh, and you can go and mark it up. Let's close out of that. Uh, and by the way, uh, the DWF will be a link in the bottom there, so that'll be nice to see. And actually, that's just firing up TrueView again, so I shouldn't have clicked that. Okay. Now, if I wanted to make a change to this, all I have to do is right-click Edit, and that'll fire up, uh, or want to save somewhere. Now, you can set a working folder in Buzzsaw the same way as you can set a working folder inside um, Vault, but I'm just going to save it there and go OK, and that's going to open up that drawing in whatever application I've got assigned to um, to DWGs. Now in this case it's TrueView, which is not a lot of help to me. Um, let's close it down. Actually, and, and this is kind of a good, uh, good way to actually look at this, because 
as you're working on documents or whatever it is, uh, if I wanted to go and open up that one, let's go and open up that one from the desktop. That one there. And let's go and make a couple of changes. Save that drawing, close it, and update. Next. Uh, as you go through the update tool, uh, you can go and browse to whatever file you want. In this case, it's the one I've just made modifications to. And you can see it's located at the desktop. Uh, as you go through here, you can actually go and say, OK, I want to send an email to James T at A2K or whatever it's going to be. Uh, and then you can add this to the discussion um, as a new topic or whatever it is. But basically, you're able to go and put all sorts of information on that drawing as I've uploaded it. Uh, and uh, and an email. So that's the comments area, I beg your pardon. And this is the email section. So I can go and attach different things. This is basic email stuff. Finish, and that should have uploaded that. And you can now see version 2 in there, which is what we want. And if we look at versions, we've got version 1 and version 2, which is good. So now that we've got that done, we want to go and grab the new version of that file from Vault. So it's 655, or in Vault, we want to say. So we want to go and get this one. So we want to update this one from Buzzsaw. You can see there's only one view there. Update from Buzzsaw. And that's going to create another job in our job processor. And if we look in our job queue, we should have one pending. Now, as I mentioned earlier, the job processor talks to the server probably once every, I don't know, five to ten minutes. So if you wanted to just kickstart it, you can actually just go on. Uh, ex actually, pause and resume might work. Yeah, pause and resume. We'll just kick it off again. So if you can't be bothered waiting for it to go and talk to the server on its own, you can, uh, you can force it to talk to the server by just pausing it and then resuming. And then that just goes and checks the job queue again. Right, so you can see that job is processed. And if I refresh on that file, I'll have two versions. And this one is uploaded from Buzzsaw. So that's how I can go and work between Vault and Buzzsaw. So it's a pretty simple, uh, straightforward little workflow. Uh, it makes things nice and easy. You can go and do that with the whole list. So you can do that with a whole folder. You can sync the whole folder. And in fact, when you're in Buzzsaw, um, if you go to the top level there, select on the site, you've got all this information here about some cool little tools you've got in Buzzsaw. This one here is one of my favorite. The, uh, this is kind of like making Buzzsaw into Dropbox. So you can go and make a Buzzsaw sync folder, that's what it's called. And then basically that kind of works like Dropbox, where you know you modify something in your Buzzsaw sync folder, it uploads the change to Buzzsaw and all that sort of stuff. So this is actually really cool as well. So that's just another option you've got with Buzzsaw. And there's a few other ones there as well. This is the connection to Vault Collaboration or Vault Professional, whatever it is. It's the one I've installed on each machine. So uh, that's just something to check out. Uh, what I might do is a bit later on I might talk to you about accessing all these drawings and make mo making changes to the drawings using the web client as well because you can do that as well. But that's enough for now. Thanks very much. Uh, see you next time.